Hi, it's just me. Um, today, I would like to tell you about Kitty. This is Kitty. She was my best friend for over a decade. We had countless moves together. We, she was definitely more than a dog to me. She was the family. For a long time, she was the only one I felt that I had. Unfortunately, at the end of this month will be the second anniversary of her being gone. So this is my tribute to Kitty. You may have noticed this picture at the end of pretty much every one of my videos. If you haven't noticed it, perhaps you haven't watched the end of my videos and shame on you. <laughs> The way Kitty came into my life right from the start was really... <laughs> so I went with this friend to some renovations he was doing and all of a sudden there were these five dogs coming out and they're like running around and everything and I spotted Kitty because I know what a hairless Chinese crested is. A lot of people don't, if you are unfamiliar. <laughs> Kitty is a hairless Chinese crested. Or Kitty was a hairless Chinese crested. <laughs> she, uh... I always said that she was just stunning <laughs> because most people who weren't familiar with them were stunned to see her. And I meant it like, oh, she's that beautiful, she's my little diamond. Anyway, I spotted her in the group and I'm like, oh my God, it's a hairless Chinese crested, can I touch it? And she's like, sure. And the lady, like the homeowner, you know, ran around. She was able to scoop her up and she's like, her name is Kitty, and she hands her over to me. And she's like, do you want her? And I'm like, are you kidding? And she's like, no, no, do you want her? And I'm like, yes. So I, uh, I left with Kitty. <laughs> and that is how, <laughs> that's how Kitty came into my life. If there was ever a time that you couldn't find Kitty, there's a good chance you could find her sleeping under a blanket somewhere, pretty much anywhere. <laughs> It was important to make sure to check under the blankets when you were about to sit on one because you never knew which one she was under, it seemed. To know me over the time that I had Kitty, particularly when it was just me and Kitty, was to know Kitty. I took her everywhere with me. So, it came to a time that it's, it was just me and Kitty. I'd realized that I don't care if you're not into my weird dog. Me and my weird dog are a package deal. And then there was Scott. <laughs> they got along pretty much right from the start. <laughs> and then we moved into a condo and Kitty was having a lot of separation anxiety while we were gone and really bothering this one set of neighbors in particular. We decided to, uh, to get Kitty a dog <laughs> and they were best friends. And since everything else went so well, we decided to add one more. So that was all going so well. So then we added one more baby because we have a very, <laughs> fairly small house that's filled with a lot of love and it just seemed right. I think some of my favorite memories of Kitty are when, <laughs> Our, first of all, there's this thing that she would do whenever she knew that I was having a really hard time or when I was experiencing a depressive episode. And it, it happened a lot. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I have, or even scrolled through my page, you know that I have bipolar disorder. I don't hide it. I do videos on it. But anyway, Kitty, <laughs> Kitty was the reason that I stayed out of the hospital on a couple of occasions because I was really going through a very hard time and she gave me a reason to get up every morning and she gave me a reason to go to work and come home and make sure that my life was in order and it was really, really good for me. So my favorite memories of her are kitty things. So here's, <laughs> here's kitty things.
you done yet? <laughs> Kitty, are you done? And also the many photo opportunities when she was sleeping in her favorite spot, which was right on top of Jasmine. <laughs> Two years without her, but uh, <laughs> definitely not forgotten. Oh, by the way, guys, I did a thing. Meet Lucy. Isn't she pretty? Look up. Mm. I did a thing. See you next time.